Good morning. It's cool here this morning. It's 42 degrees outside. Yep, because it was 48 inside. So but anyway, be that as it may, uh, it's a cool day, clear, crystal clear, no wind, beautiful day. And uh, today I'm going to finish up the uh, some of the videos on the uh, Enchanted Circle. And uh, yeah, you'll be bombarded with them, even though uh, <clears throat> it's a beautiful area, man. I mean, it's just really pretty to me. Uh, apparently other people aren't too enthused about it, but having said that, today is the first day of the rest of your life. It's day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now went right on by. And that's the way that is. Never worry about what you cannot change. And when you get up every morning, kiss a stinking goat. The battery's dead on the stinking one-eared goat, and I'll have to put, I got some more in Matilda. I'll put some in there soon. But see what it is? To get to those little screws in there, you got to have a special, well, something. I'll figure it out. But anyway, <clears throat> today is, it is cool is what it is in here. Very, very cool. I mean, yo. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, oh, I went into Colorado. I did. I went into Colorado yesterday, as a matter of fact. It's only, well, to the Colorado border from right here is like 20 miles. And then the little town of, uh, uh, there's a little town right across the, border a few miles it's the oldest uh, little town in uh, Colorado yeah I've been there before but it's really neat I went and got me some breakfast tacos well, I did some videos they'll come up in a few days yeah I've got them all scheduled out there and they're coming so uh, Josh Miles says have you ever thought about traveling east and to the east US if so what would you want to see uh, uh, there's nothing I really want to see in the East, uh, Smoky Mountains, maybe, uh, I don't know, I can't think of anything offhand, but no, I never really thought about going East, I did try it one time, and, uh, you know, I went into, uh, of course, I went the low route going, I went, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, part of Georgia, and then into Florida, back up around Georgia and then uh, Tennessee and where else did I go? Oklahoma and then back down to Texas. But no, east of the Mississippi is pretty crowded. This person's name is Long Way Around. I saw a headline on a local paper while waiting in the line at the grocery store today. It stated July 4th was globally the hottest on record. I can understand why anyone who is able to do so heads to higher elevations for the cooler weather. <clears throat> well, you know, the trick is there, it's it globally the hottest on record, but, you know, they only started keeping records in 1885, you know, so it's not, uh, it's, it's the records are not that old, so to speak, but anyway, nice to know, pack and scouter, beautiful camp, love the views when you're driving, well, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be, for the next few days, you're gonna be seeing a lot of driving, <laughs> I'm telling you. RV living with the geezer, beautiful country, rusty. I really like the streams running alongside the roadways. Yeah, that is neat. And and on the Enchanted Circle, uh, when you leave Cuesta going to Red River on the right, well, it's on the right hand side, and then it switch. Well, it's on the right hand side all the way basically to Red River. Uh, there's a mountain stream. Uh, when you uh, get around t close to Taos, there's another one. But yeah, so yeah, you're right. There's mountain streams alongside the roadways. I mean, you have to park and walk down to them. This person's name is Dunn On. Don't pass up shotgun willies in RR. I think you would enjoy barbecue meats and open for breakfast. Okay, thank you. This is Dunn On again. There are some fam fairly steep cliff areas on right side and very beautiful scenery either you need extra camera angle to show it or pivot uh says excellent driver thank you well i do the best i can you know and you know I, i'm just not going to invest a lot of money in, in equipment because i don't think it makes that much difference i think a lot of that is just you know for the people that are doing the videos <clears throat> daisy muffin if a location is friendly and quaint i don't care how close 
I got to park next to someone. No, I agree. It, the, the RV park here, you know, well, actually, it's kind of thinned out today. I mean, this is like July the, what, 6th? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, after July the 4th, it thinned out probably 25%. Uh, troglodyte. This is the best cha best channel for professional narration, fine camera work, and the best scenic locations on YouTube. This YouTube creator should be supported and encouraged. This channel and positive content is what YouTube was meant to be. This man is an American treasure, no kidding. Well, thank you, Troglodyte. I, I'll vote for you, boy. You got my vote. <laughs> Tony Venata. Good morning, America. Well, good morning to you. Scotty Thompson says, nice red shirt. Thank you. Cool comment, call, cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Alex Ro Rowland, Roland. I used to go to Red River every summer as a kid. Uh, well, yeah, that's when you were in school and you didn't have to work, you know. Uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's a good place. You know, it's, it's just the elevation's a little high for old dad here. Uh, 8,500 feet, and of course you got uh, all you know, Red River, Eagle Nest, and Angel Fire. Uh, they're all up in the elevations. They're higher than Taos and Quaestum. Uh You so grouchy. That mountain stream is called Red River. Okay, <laughs> how about that? The uh, the Dogman Chronicles. Thanks for the ride along, Rusty. You're welcome. Check his channel out on YouTube. King for a day, down the road to the right where you made the U-turn is a butt load of million dollar plus cabins and most of them are getaway homes. Granted, there are normal folk homes too. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have summer homes in that, you know. Hold on a minute. Anyway, King for a day says, last I heard the quest of mine is owned by Chevron or one of its subsidiaries. It's a super fun site, as in super duper polluted. Yeah, they, they mine for Mala Benidium or something. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. Uh, yeah, they just dug a huge hole in the mountain. Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, no, it's, but anyway, the, the, this mine is nothing compared to the one near Morinci in Arizona, you know, uh, or actually there's one near Silver City too, a huge mine. Uh, Stefan, says Red River looks like Ruidoso. Nice drive. Yeah, similar. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <clears throat> Texas Peg. What were are they mining for on that mountain? I'm not pronouncing it right, but it's Molly Bedidium or something like that. Uh, it looks so peaceful and calm and beautiful. Thanks for the ride, Rusty. You're very welcome. Texas Peg P. Interesting name. <laughs> uh, Deborah McKinney. Thumbs up to you. Kenneth Kilpatrick, beautiful looking town. Can only imagine what it looks like covered in snow. Well, it, it's uh, apparently a pretty, uh, pretty good little uh, ski resort. They say the toughest uh, place to ski around here is uh, Taos. <clears throat> or the, it's the slopes or whatever are really tough. Uh, anyway, then we got Ambrosia. <coughs> Ambrosia. Yeah, it's been... It's been up to 112 in Texas. The temperature is always one thing I liked in New Mexico, except winter in the higher elevations. Yeah, that's true. You know, the winter, you know, like right now, in the days here, you know, it'll get up to 80, 82 in that range, and uh, or 88. It'll actually get to 90 occasionally, but still, that's with the low humidity. That's not bad. Uh, Texas lady, another great drive. Thank you. You're very welcome. Ken P.A. says, yummy. That was on the pizza. Yep. I, got, I ate the last slice of that pizza last night. Raccoon Little Bear, from this valley, they say, from this valley, they say you are going. Yeah, Red River Valley. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, uh, coming down the mountain, going towards e uh, Eagle Nest is, is a treat. And coming back, you know, if, you're, if you're driving an RV from Eagle Nest, up to uh, Red River. <laughs> Good luck. You know, uh, Patrick Russell. Uh, also, if you consider allowing your kids to enter the water, I strongly recommend they wear tennis shoes. If they get caught by the current, the first reaction most people have is to try to brace themselves with their feet. 
with bare feet, toes, one can easily get broken. Yeah, yeah, you always wear some kind of a river runner shoes, you know what I mean? If you're going to be in the streams out here. John Wog says, the remote village of Cuesta, cradled by northern New Mexico's Sangre de Cristo scenic mountains, valleys and mesas, has been inextricably linked to Chevron's century-old Molly Bidnium mine. Uh, with the mine closure in 2014, the company is helping to guide this remote community towards a near, a new future. It says the mineral mine, Patrick Russell says the mineral mine is very useful and used as a lubricant in industrial and conduct, in construction industries. So now, if this was one of the very few mines for this rocks having shut down, then one wonders where else it is being mined. Yeah, I guess so, you know. But anyway, thank you. Uh, also, here we got Rye Life. Th that is a beautiful view behind your RV, but for 450 a month plus electric, dang, I'd want more trees and especially more space between sites. Uh, well, you know, if you, <laughs> apparently you don't RV because this is the least, one of the least expensive RV sites in this whole area. And in fact, probably the whole United States. Falcon Eddie, another great driving video. Thank you, man. You're welcome. 1951 Roy. Town looks, town looks like a nice place to live. It would be about eight months a year. <laughs> the winters are cold. Mag Dastar. Love your sense of humor. humor. What a pleasant drive. The reason I started watching your videos is because we were trying to find a retirement base. A couple of years ago, New Mexico came to our attention, and there was not much information out there. Red River looks beautiful. It makes me think of the southern part of Germany. Thank you. Well, good. Yeah, I think, you know, it depends on where you go, and you, you, it's all up to you. See, you, you, I, I can show you the place, or show places, and then you pick something to go look at. Johnson, what? Nice drive in cool country. It's a shame that mine sliced off the mountain. Let's hope all the campers are careful with fire. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, you know, there's another thing, too, I've seen. There's a sheer cliff. I may have mentioned in a video. Sheer wall that goes up, I don't know, a couple of hundred yards. <clears throat> and there's people climbing that rock wall. You know, you see people climbing it every now and then. I thought about stopping and doing a video, but it, it's when you come around a curve, you know, that you see it so you don't have much time to react, you know. Uh, slow Hiker, great video. Rusty, love the... New Mexico scenery, you're very welcome. Doing with nothing, oh, doing it with nothing, person's name. Red River, enjoy it. Yeah, it's a good place. Levi Bluer, uh, I lived in Pagosa Springs for a little bit, left Ruidosa with Laverne, with Laverne, like Snoop Dogg said, can't make a housewife. Come back to Norman and Betty beg for my job, beg Betty for my job back, whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> Enjoy your life, Levi, out there on the mountain. Dear Trixa, rain and storm today evening. Well, dear Trixa, you got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> good morning. Uh, look, dear Trixa, again, looks very nice. It does. Magda Star, hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your drives and be safe. Yeah, I'm in no hurry, man. When I'm doing these drives, I'm just chilling out and uh, enjoying myself the best I can and you know and that's the way I look at life you know if I'm if I'm contented somewhere then then I'll stay there a while you know I mean I, I think about my home base in Capitan you know I got a cover there I can sit out every you know I, I can have a you know a better life there than I'm having here so don't worry I'm, I don't think I'm not thinking about that you know so we'll see how it goes you know I mean you know I got things to do here so we'll see I'm just doing me. Oh, fickle me, fickle man. Phyllis Smith, thank you, Rusty. I'm stuck in the oven called Texas and was craving Red River. Enchanted Circle so bad. You're the best. Can't wait for the rest of the loop. Yeah, it'll, it'll be coming out over the next several days. And then uh, tomorrow we got Beer 30. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get, I'll remember and get, get it done on time. 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, Tracy Phillips says, great driving video, Rusty. I remember when one of the last 
steaks you had was when frugal rv gal fixed you one have a great day i don't eat steak anymore at all it's too hard for me to digest thank you though patty white that was is a very nice drive very green and w with water access yeah it is that those little streams are neat I, I i've gone over to them several times and either had a picnic or you know just walked around and listened to the stream because it's just pleasant and there's you there's a couple of places where there's nobody there you know uh, particularly after July the 4th. So yeah, it's a good place. Silver Sergeant, appreciate the scenery, Rusty. First today, well, yippee. I got to give you a yippee then. Let me give you a yippee. Uh, first today, huh? Give him a congratulations there. Got that did. Uh, Mark, Mark Monk on the road again. Well, soon. Uh, two more will shut her down here. This is user something. Rusty, the property you had in Cloudcroft, New Mexico, was stunning. The deck that was added on that on the property was really nice. I would have stayed put. Was there a reason you sold it? Uh, I just didn't want it anymore. And you would have stayed put because you're doing you. I sold it because I'm doing me. Johnson what? Last one. I've been enjoying your comment calls, and you've got me sold on an EV for around town. Charge at home and forget the gas stations. Thanks. Yeah, you know they they, they do work for me, and, and I think that's a good idea. Particularly if you have two cars, uh, you know, having an electric car for as one of them, it would be a no-brainer. You know, but having said that, that's up to you. That's your choice. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye bye. Oh, hold it. <laughs> Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye bye. Anything you want. Use the Amazon link, drink plenty of water, stretch walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, uh, drink plenty of, plenty of water, take deep breaths and all that stuff, and enjoy your life the best way you can, guys. And uh, my hair may look different today because I washed it, and I washed it about once a month or whatever, and it's just like you know, if, if, there, if a little wind, if foof, you know what I mean? But anyway, enjoy your life, enjoy your day. You got more driving videos coming of this area, the Enchanted Circle, so... Thumbs up, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.